so now to another quick operator tutorial if we go over here I wrote it so we can save some time and here we have the decrement slash increment operators right there and these operators will basically increment or decrement your variables values as you want them this one will uh, this one is a pre increment and this is a post increment and this is the pre decrement and this is the post decrement right there so this one will increment your value and then return and of course the variable x right here represents any kind of variable you know just a simple representation for a number okay and this one right here will return the value and then increment it and this will you know decrement your value and then return it and the last one which is the most uh, decrement will decrement your will will return your value and then decrement it okay it's kind of confusing when you see it at first but when you try a bunch of examples it will clear out any confusion okay and let me try out some examples let me create my variable right there let's set it to 10 and if we echo out the pre the pre uh, increment for it um, it will be plus plus and then the variable name it will return 11 okay it will only increment it by one okay so if i comment this and try the post increment num okay and just like that it will return on only 10 you know because it will return the value and then increment it okay so if we go to our third one let me comment this out and if we go right here for the post decrement we go as was and num just like that and it will give us nine because the post uh, sorry the pre decrement decrements this value right there and then return it and if we go to our last operator echo out num you know sub subtraction sign two sub subtraction signs and then just end it with a semicolon right there this will give us the 10 as it is because it returns the value okay and it will increment it so this is it this is it for the decrement and increment operators they're really easy the most you know the most famous scenario for using them is going to be in the loops which we will discuss later okay so see you in the next video